Capricorn, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Gen TV. All right, Capricorn. This is your love reading. Bear in mind, my love, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. I'm not doing private readings at this time. I keep kind of trying to fit them in to my time, to my day, but uh, I um, I just ha I don't have the time for it at the moment. I'm sorry, my loves. My right, Capricorn. Right, the overall vibe here, we've got the chariot, so things are starting to move, awesome, things are starting to take shape and move. I want to sort of take you away from what I see here negatively, it's nothing too bad, don't worry, I'll tell you about it, but I want to sort of take you away from that. And kind of nudge you in a direction of positivity. So things are starting to move forwards. Yes. This is good. This is positive. We've got the chariot. I'm not sure you're entirely ready for it yet. You might think you are. You might want things to change. But there's still a little bit of healing I feel that needs to be done. Still a little bit of balancing out ordinary things as well like your time just ordinary human stuff these things sort of need balancing out so you need to sort of plan out your day what you're gonna do but also in that time there's still healing that needs to be done so yeah you've got a lot to do try and fit as much as you can in as well as having some time to yourself to meditate, to make yourself some nice food, something healthy, to go to the gym, have a swim, you know, go out for a walk with the dog, whatever it is, you know, just you're gonna start balancing things out with the stuff that you wanna do and the stuff you gotta do. If you don't get to fit them all into one day, you just, you gotta have some stuff for you as well. And then there's the stuff that you gotta do as well. You know, you gotta do your work. You gotta make sure you got clothes to wear. Your kids have got clothes to wear. There's food on the table. There's all these things like that. You've gotta balance all of this out. And don't pressure yourself. Give you some time too. Even if it's, you know, 20 minutes. Just to give yourself that balance. That's going to put you in a really good position if you do that. You're going to start moving forwards. You are moving forwards. That's happening. That's even the overall vibe is that life's changing. It's just you weren't ready for it. You might have thought you were, felt you were, but you're balancing things out now, okay? You're putting yourself in a good position to find love, to find the right love. The problem is, I don't think that love's ready for you. Tell me more about the Page of Swords here. This is the thing, if somebody sort of fits your love criteria, but they're not ready, they're in another relationship, or they're, you know, just fooling around, not ready... Page of swords are ass. Cut them out. You're in a good position here. You're starting to heal. You're starting to balance your life out. If somebody comes in and they're not ready, don't force things. Cut them out. They're not ready. They've got work that they need to do on themselves. If they're not ready, they're somebody else may be in their life which it looks like it, don't be putting work into this relationship. 
they're not ready they're with someone else that's just going to bring you karma that you kind of trying to move away from so Is it worth it in the end to pursue something that's not going to go anywhere? No. You're moving forwards. It's happening, but you're in a good position. Don't be letting someone in who's not ready for you because you're moving forwards now. Why is the Queen of Wands in reverse here? Yeah, it's all kind of saying, sent to confuse you. It's uh, we've got the Knight of Wands in reverse. It's it's, uh, it's confusing. It's an obstacle in your way. It's it's just, just with the Ace of Wands in reverse. That's an obstacle in your way to. It's confusing with the Knight of Wands in reverse. It's um, something kind of made came very clear is that uh, pursuing something like this, it's, uh, folly is the word that came to me. It's folly. This person's stuck in a situation they can't get out of, even if they wanted to. So, it's folly. You're in a good position. I want to keep reiterating that you're in a great position. You don't need this person in your life. You're moving forwards. I wouldn't put work into something that... Time, work, effort, love. I wouldn't put any of those things into something that is folly. And for someone who's not available, not ready for you. The best thing you could do is put the effort into yourself, into balancing your life out so that you're in a position of uh, stability. Outcome here. Why is the magician reverse here? This is like... Um, I, I kind of feel like this is this person manipulating you. I want what I want. I, mean, I can't leave what I, I... It's folly. They cannot leave the situation. It's confusing. There's obstacles in the way. They can't leave the situation that they're in. But they're going to try and manipulate you to give them what they want. Then they're going to try and get away with that. What's the point? on your part you're sorting your life out you're moving forwards you don't need added karma hell no outcome clarify the outcome it's not yeah this isn't your person it's kind of just a little test to see whether you're gonna move forwards whether you're going to work on yourself and move forwards. I think you should. And you can manifest what you want into your life. You can manifest somebody who's ready, not someone who's still chasing other dreams. You not being one of them. I think that in this case, you're just um, a distraction for them. One that they want, but they're not willing to take it any further with you. I'm going to take it into extent. I'm going to ask how this person really feels about you. Where are you in their heart space? What are their intentions towards you? And what do they want to say to you? Let's have a little bit of guidance from the universe, but let's just pull you some oracle cards for now. Fleetwood Mac everywhere. You know that I'm proud and I can't get the words out. Oh, I I want to be with you everywhere. The energy is gaining momentum. Things are moving forwards. The chariot. Things are starting to move. So you just 
that's the road I'm leading you down here. Don't focus on love, don't focus on them, focus on you, balancing yourself out, having more time for you. This too shall pass and what you want will come. Okay, I'm going to say it's extended. Thank you for joining me. See you later.